Once again, you succeeded at the task set before you. Well done, my friend. A battle won, but the war rages on. We must reach the lightless remnant and destroy it. But Montclair will grow more desperate the closer we get to that cursed relic. Are you ready, my friend? Once more into the breach. I fear that Montclair will have a surprise or two waiting for us within the Doomcrag. I suddenly have the feeling that bringing an army up here was a terrible mistake. And never mind that now. We must reach the lightless remnant and end this madness. Tell the troops to remain here. They need to make sure none of Montclair's soldiers follow us up into the Doomcrag. Do not question me. If my orders aren't followed to the letter, Montclair will defeat us and Revenspire will be lost. Talk to Countess Tamreth and Baron Dora. Tell them what I have said. Then meet me at the bridge that leads to the Doomcrag. that man. And to think, I thought him to be dashing and heroic. But enough of such matters. You aren't here to discuss my personal life. Tell me, what news from Count Ravenwatch? Are we ready to march against Montclair? And as a little girl, I wanted a pet guar I could decorate with ribbons and call Penelope. But we don't always get what we want, especially in war. The light has guided us this far. It is not done with us yet. I thought I made that clear. The Count has been an invaluable ally, but he is not in charge of this expedition. My troops have served us well. They deserve to see this through to the end. Tell the Count that we're going with him to Doomcrag. What word, my friend? Is Verandas ready for the troops to ascend the Doomcrag? Remain behind and deny them the glory of being there when we achieve victory? Never! When Verandis starts his march to the top of the Doomcrag, we will be with him every step of the way. I'll leave enough soldiers to protect our flank, but our best soldiers are coming with me. Tell the Count that we're coming with him, whether he likes it or not. Hold, mortal! You must go no farther. Turn back now, and take the other mortals with you. Your flesh and blood is too fragile to withstand the power of the cursed relic. We only seek to save you from the fate that befell us so very long ago. This place is cursed, tainted by a terrible power that has grown corrupted and impure. We do not wish to see you succumb to its vile touch. When we came to this land many eons ago, we brought with us a powerful relic to help us tame its wilderness and allow us to survive. It was originally Latanya, the Light of Life, forged by our greatest sorcerers. It helped plants grow and healed illnesses. It helped us bring life to this barren wilderness. We were attacked by the savages that dwelled here before us. It was a brutal fight, and much blood was spilled. Many died on both sides of the conflict. Blood and death tainted the light of life. The relic changed. It became Abagandra, the lightless remnant, a beacon of death. Moreover, when the vampire touched it, the corruption intensified, became more potent. If the relic is destroyed, the blood curse will flow unhindered throughout the land.
must do exactly as I taught you. Yes? The power of the remnant will call to you, tempt you. You must be strong enough to withstand that lure. I'm ready for this. You know that. Stop treating me like I'm a novice, Verandis. I won't fail you. I won't let you down. You have never disappointed me, Gwenys. But the remnant is more powerful than you can imagine. Be on your guard. Now head inside. I'll join you in a moment. I trust you have spoken to Tamrith and Dorel. Are the soldiers standing guard at the second portal? The fools! I just wish I would have realized our mistake before we made it this far. I didn't think, didn't realize that our proximity to the remnant would be our undoing. The remnant feeds off life, devours it. Not only will Gwendis and I be susceptible to its lore, but the soldiers, they're just more fodder for the blood curse. No, it's too late for that now. We have to move forward and hope we're not overwhelmed by our own forces. But if any of them turned into blood fiends, I promise to end their suffering as quickly as possible. Layla died, and Montclair changed. Where are Montclair's forces? I thought for sure we'd have to fight a horde of blood fiends to make it through this place. Montclair is a strategist. He's waiting for us to make a mistake that he can take advantage of. I fear that mistake is about to be made. Soldiers, spread out. Secure this chamber. my warning, Baron. This is no place for you. You would deny our moment of glory, Count? The light shines on us this day. There is no light here, Countess. Only darkness and death. Arcane, protect us. What is that? Baron Montclair. He's here. Troops, on my command. Welcome, Ferrandis. And like a good guest, I see you've brought me gifts to play with. Allow me to grant my blessing to your army. This is exactly what I feared. He's turned our own troops into blood fiends. Feel to watch those who you care about turn against you, Randis. How does it feel? My daughter, you've taken everything I ever loved, Randis. I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. My daughter loved you, Verandis. She loved you. The remnant. Power. It drove Larea insane. Are those giant skeletons? can find a way to free you from this power. To what end, my old friend? My wife is dead. My daughter killed by your own hand. What do I have if not this power? I think I prefer to let you experience my pain. My suffering. To let you see what it's like to lose everything you hold dear. No, Montclair. Stop this madness. Come, Gwyneth. You look famished. Allow me to prepare you a feast fit for my new queen. No, Montclair, please! I never should have brought everyone here. I should have handled this on my own. You're in danger as well. Montclair will eventually try to use you against me. Montclair has never left the Remnant Chamber. He was able to defeat us by working through a projection. 
I assume he's teleported Gwendis and the others to his side. I'm still connected to the one who turned me. The answer to our problem rests with him. If we are going to defeat Montclair, you must trust me this one last time. I will not betray you. We can discuss that later. For now, we need to reach Gwendis before the Remnant corrupts her and she feasts upon the others. Head upstairs and I'll follow right behind you. I can feel them. Gwendis, Tamrith, and Doral are still alive. But I can also feel Gwendis's hunger. She won't be able to hold back much longer. We must be ready to do whatever is necessary. Let's go. Be on your guard. Montclair will do everything he can to stop us. When this has been hard, or any of our friends, I'll show him no mercy. Quintus? What has he done to you? Verandus, help. Please, help me. Their blood smells so good. These restraints, they won't hold me back much longer. You must control yourself, Gwendis. We'll find a way to get you out of there. Show yourself, Wylan. Tell me what you want. Tell you, Montclair, answer me! I'm sorry, my friend, but it seems we're going to have to play Montclair's game to free the others. If we don't get Gwendis out of there soon, those restraints will break and she'll feed on the nobles. Montclair has constructed a blood ward to imprison Gwendis and the others. The Remnant, its proximity is playing havoc with Gwendis's hunger. The urge to feed is stronger in her than ever. He's using alien magic to increase the power of the ward. I'll do my best to dispel it, but I think we'll need to destroy the statues if I'm going to have any chance to succeed. You must protect me while I attempt to unravel the spell. Montclair will strike when I'm distracted. You must keep me safe, or we'll never reach Gwendis in time. One more thing. Watch for an opportunity to destroy the statues. As long as they power the ward, my efforts will be less effective. Are you ready? Then may luck be upon us both. I did it. 
I resisted. I didn't feed. Wait. What happened to the nobles? Did... Did I remember wrong? They're fine. Merely unconscious. I'm proud of your restraint, Gwendis. What's going on in here? Is the Countess all right? Damn it, Darian, slow down! Wait for me, you long-legged bastard! Baron and the Countess are fine, but you both arrived just in time to move them to safety. Take them out? But we just got here. We want to help take down Montclair. Neither of us has had a good fight in... Well, but it's been at least a couple minutes. No, Darian... This battle is not one that you and Scordo can win. Leave Montclair to us. But... but... oh, very well. But I get to help take down the next would-be world conqueror we come across. Deal? As you wish, brave Darian. As you wish. And now, my friend, the time has come to face Montclair. Aselde is still breathing. That's a good sign, right? Of course it is. Montclair's forces tried to assault our camp. We held them off, though. Our mages put up some wards, so they should be fine without us. Scordo and I decided to come lend a hand. We've got this covered. Just watch out for yourself up there. Don't do anything foolish, like dying heroically or something. I try to avoid any kind of dying, heroic or otherwise. Besides, I'd rather you survive. Now go and do what you do best. Look at this. We leave you alone for a bit, and look what happens. The Countess, the Baron, even the little vampire. Down and out for the Count. Well, we're here now. So what are you waiting for? Go and kick Montclair's arse! Rivenspire needs Tamrith and Orel. They cannot be allowed to perish here. I need to help get them to safety before I join you up above. They will, with my help. Besides, I can't face Montclair just yet. There are preparations I must make to ensure our success. But time grows short, and you must distract Montclair to give me time I need for my preparations. If Montclair dies while connected to the Remnant, the Relic breaks and unleashes its curse upon Rivenspire. No one would be safe from the Blood Fiend Plague. We need to stop Montclair, but we need to do so in a way that doesn't doom Rivenspire. That, my friend, is what I still need to work out. And while I do that, I need you to keep Montclair busy. You have done more than I ever hoped, my friend, and I am proud to have fought beside you. Now go. We both have jobs left to do. Remember, the man that Montclair was is gone now. He no longer exists. Only the monster remains. So don't hold back. Keep him busy until I can join you. No, 
I can't give in to this temptation. I must remove the remnant from this place. Take it to the plane of my master. We need to talk one last time. Time is against us, my friend. I must remove the remnant from this place before it is too late. I, uh, I need you to do something for me first, though. Adusa, my oldest, most trusted ally. Tell her that House Raven watches hers now. She must carry on our work. Continue to train Gwendis and any others who need her help. Because I need to take this relic out of this realm. It needs to be transported to a place where it can't do any harm. I have made a deal with my master. Molag Ball has agreed to take me and the relic to Cold Harbor. It is the only way to make certain that Rivenspire is saved. Molag Ball will take the relic into his realm. Rivenspire, all of none, will be safe. The deal has already been made. It's either this or allow everyone to turn into the very fiends we worked so hard to save them from. There is no other way. Tell Gwendis that I will miss her. She was always so full of life. Farewell, my friend. actually survived the destruction of the Doom Crag? That's remarkable. I mean, I've seen you do some amazing things. I'll never forget our adventures in Glenumbra. But to walk out of a collapsed mountain? That's really impressive. That persnickety vampire really came through in the end. He was a good man. For a vampire, I mean. We won the day, and that's what matters. The people of Rivenspire are safe now. Just barely. We made it out right before the damn mountain came crashing down. I still don't know what kind of magic you did up there to defeat Montclair, but remind me never to get on your bad side. Before we go, you need to talk to Gwendis. She's not taking this well. I even tried my sad face. It usually works. She almost bit my head off. Anyway, we'll see you back in Shornhelm. All right, everyone. Let's gather up our injured and get out of here. Darian's right. There's nothing left for us here. We need to return to the High King and let him know what happened. Mage, we need a portal. To Shornhelm, if you please. Of course, Baron. Only take a moment. The portal to Shornhelm is open, my lord. Verandas. I hate this. I really hate it. Sacrificed? Like in dead? What do you mean he sacrificed himself? He's really gone, isn't he? The mighty Verandas. I hate this. I really hate it. Sacrificed? Like in dead? What do you mean he sacrificed himself? No. Why'd you let him do that? Do you know how hard he worked to distance himself from the Prince? If Verandas is still alive, the Prince won't give him up easily. But why did he leave me here? I would have... I should have gone with him. How do you know what he wanted? He was everything to me. Why didn't he tell me what he was planning? Why didn't he let me help him? Saved us. Doesn't feel like I was saved. But Ferrandus always carried a great weight on his shoulders. Maybe that's been lifted from him now. I can only help, right? Before we go, take this. Ferrandus gave it to me, but I can't keep it. You helped him so much. You should have it. 
You helped the man I cared about, the man I loved, and you were with him to the end. This belongs to you. I need a little time to say my farewells. Don't worry about me. I won't do anything stupid. Yes. But you need to get back to Shornhelm. Without Verandas there, they're gonna need your help to figure out what happens next. All of this, it happened because Riverspire doesn't have a true leader. If that doesn't change, it won't be long before the region falls into chaos once more. At least, that's what Verandas used to say. I'll find my way. Verandas taught me well. And Deducer's back at the manor. She'll keep me company. Things will be all right. It'll just take time. Now go. Get out of here and go help the High King choose a ruler for Rivenspire. <laughs>